So I was doing some research before this video and was reminded at this. Ten cost CP. What the f Okay, let's start again. Hey guys, welcome on in Kuros here. And today I'm going to do my review of Summer Ifumi. Hopefully we'll go over the abilities. We'll do everything like that. And uh, if you guys do enjoy this video, hit that subscribe and like button uh, as you go through it. And uh, that's all. That's all I really got. That's all I really got. We got a bunch of other gotcha games on the way. So come join us on the discord as well. And let's go. All right, let's roll on through with this review here. So we do have Yufumi. Let's start at the top right, as we normally do. We do have our affinity, where she is a positive indoor affinity. She is neutral in outdoors, and then she is negative affinity in urban. So really slated to those cheese fights, right, where you're outdoors and indoors. Uh, AR assault rifle. She has hat, hairpin, and watch this par uh, the course, par normal for an assault rifle. She is a tactical support. That means she's not on the field technically we'll get into that in just a second uh going over to her character stats we maxed her out to five star level 78 attack pretty decent across the board for an ar uh assault rifle type none of these other stats really matter i mean have, uh accuracy doesn't matter but evasion stuff doesn't really matter when you're not on the field really anyways um hp and stuff like that uh okay for supplying to uh other members but the real standout stat here is critical rate. That's actually pretty high. 259 is in the higher uh, echelons of critical rate compared to a lot of other characters. Um, let's move on to her skills. And um, we'll start with the, the big, the big beefy, right? Is the EX skill 10 cost. Wow. Um, is it worth 10 cost? Yes, absolutely. Uh, Hifumi enters the battlefield on Crusader Chan. It in its attack increases by 36% for 50 seconds. Every 20 seconds, it activates a, a two pounder uh, loaded HE shell that does additional damage. Now, it should be noted that you do uh, uh, this tank will uh, attack regardless of the 20 seconds, it's just an additional attack inside of that uh, uh, attack pattern. Uh, the shell, pretty good. Uh, the attack, pretty good. And what's really nice about this is that it does add another striker to the field. Um, my concern with this is uh, the amount of AOE you get out of it isn't that great. Um, and the amount of 10 costs it costs you could end up slowing down your run as you're in extreme and uh, 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 hardcore mode. It, it's probably fine in hardcore mode, but in extreme mode, right? You have such a limited time window to try and get two phases on that cheese boss that you really need to be pumping out the AOE. And now this will help you, but it'll also set you back for X amount of time, right? As you try and cycle your, your AOE a little bit more. Uh, moving on, we do have our normal skill, which uh, every 25 seconds deals 302% uh, damage to enemies. Passive skill increases attack. We do love that. And then sub skill. This is actually a sub skill that's slept on a lot of times is increases allies attack speed now that's really really good we do we do love attack speed for a boss like cheese though and this is the fight that i would probably bring her to right a boss like cheese you're not really looking too much for attack speed you're looking for more raw damage because you have those 15 second windows of where you just need to do damage right uh, just not overall a lot of damage let's look at her what is her upgrade material so you're using uh, a lot of wolf's eggs, which we probably have a ton of, and a decent amount of fragments, which we might have a bunch of those as well, especially if you farm the um, Torino event, right, to full to full fruition. She is Trinity. We are hurting on Trinity books. If you pull the Zusa, uh, Summer Zusa, uh, Koharu, uh, everyone else, right, uh, we're probably hurting on, on Trinity books and skill books, so that your mileage may vary there. And then unique weapon, uh, pretty good. Increases indoor affinity to triple uh to double S, which good increases attack even further than there. Um, we're gonna go on and um I've already given away kind of the, the raid she's on. I will show you the raids. Uh and uh that's what we have.
All right, lucky for us, the really the only raid she's good at is cheese. I can't think of another raid I would bring her to right now, except for maybe the chicken raid, and that would be a stretch. But that being said, uh, even though how hilarious it would be to show up on a tank to almost every raid and just blast the living bejesus out of everything, this is really the only raid she's going to be good at. And that's mainly because she has an indoor affinity that's positive that allows her to do more damage since cheese is also indoors and then she has a neutral affinity to outdoors which she's also outdoors i can't see bringing her to any other raid whether it be been a chicken especially not any red raid and uh, that's all we got for now now there might be more raids in the future but as of right now this would be her only potential Okay, guys, uh, let's talk about general content for Summer Hifumi. Now, she's actually pretty good in summer or in uh, general content, I should say. Uh, from her from her mission, she is going to help you out with a lot of those different missions, whether they be uh, hard modes, right, where you need to get through a lot of uh, different penetration units, uh, depending on uh, which hard mode you're getting up against. Like this one, it's not really going to help you. But other ones where you have to create two teams full of penetration, or maybe penetration and mystic she is going to help you out with that so that is something to be said but you know those are kind of one and dones right i don't know if that's worth pulling someone for unless you're really struggling on uh penetration now the one thing i will say is that uh commission wise right is that she can help you cheese uh not item retrieval but she can help you cheese base defense and what i mean by that is that uh, especially as we move up in base defense too if you're struggling trying to get base defense eight and then we're gonna have nine and ten eventually you can do the cheese and one of the cheeses uh which i think we have on this channel is using hifumi and you can use summer hifumi hifumi and summer of fumi together can kind of just make this thing a breeze uh I, I wouldn't say it's that easy but that is one thing to say is that worth pulling for i don't know especially considering you can farm Iori and a bunch of other things, but those are the really the use cases for general content. Okay, let's talk about PvP real quick. Come on in. If you bring her the PvP and you somehow win a match with that tank on the battlefield, you're f toxic. I said it. I would uninstall myself personally if I lost to a Hifumi uh, tank. Thank you. All right, I kind of wanted to put my final thoughts together here. And um, so for me, her pull rating, we're going to give her an overall pull rating of 2.5 out of 5. And it's not to say she's bad. It's just with a lot of other students that are more meta, and depending on if you're free to play or not, this may not be the pull for you, right? This is the, the hero that comes between Summer uh, Azusa and Summer Iori. Or, or sorry, not Summer Iori, but Summer Hina, which both of those take way more precedent than Summer Hifumi. And the fact that like she's she's really just a fun unit to play with and not really one that's really going to change your landscape of how you do cheese, especially in extreme mode. Uh, so for, for that, she doesn't get a whole lot of use. And then even in uh, normal gameplay, she's not going to get a whole lot of use because by the time you're going to use a 10 cost, you would have to auto attack the first or second wave, right? And it's just going to feel really bad. So um, that's that's where I'm at with the pull rating. That's where I'm at with cheese personally. And personally, on my final two cents on that is that you should not pull for this character unless you are a, a pretty decent spender and you're just looking to be a completionist and have all the characters. Uh, your money and your gems are better spent getting some of these other limiteds from uh, Summer Azusa to Summer Hina to, to waiting to the bunny event, even pulling on casual uh, uh, Seiya or um, Kid Shun just for more uh, kicks, right? Might be better pulls per se. So that's my last two cents. If you guys did enjoy the video, let me know in the comments down below what you thought. Uh, if you guys are feeling the same thing, if you're going to still going to pull, if you're not going to pull, let me know in those comments. I do appreciate all of you, and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out. Fist bump from me to you guys. <laughs>